<laughs> good day, good day. <laughs> oh, the honk, are you? Welcome to Roverland. Yeah, this is your friend Dano, and have I got a one up Wednesday for you today. That's right, that's right. Look at the, we're just gonna jump right into it. But first, wait, wait, before we go any further, <laughs> make sure you give me a like there uh, and subscribe. We're trying to hit uh, 500 subscribers by uh, July 12th, 2021. And we'll talk about that later. But anyway, yeah, Facebook, Roverland, uh, Instagram, Roverland channel, check it out. Well, let's get into it. Here it is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one of Wednesday. I've had this sitting around. Um, yeah, I believe I bought this in person. Yes, I believe so. I bought, I believe this came from a, a Walmart. Yes, a Walmart. Now, as you see, we're looking at a new ray. Let's get in focus. New ray. Wildlife Explorer Radio Controlled Seven Functions. Count them out there. Seven. <laughs> Jeez balls, Dano. All right. So we're talking about a Land Rover Discover RC diecast collectibles. Yes. Uh, battery operated. BO. That's not the kind of BO I know of. Uh, anyway, yeah. Look at this here. This is kind of cool. This is kind of great, huh? Uh, I don't know really exactly why, uh, as a um, toy manufacturer, you'd want to put uh, something right in the middle of the earth. I know it's clear, but still kind of distracting. There's the uh, little remote control. So yeah, this is remote control RC cars. Doesn't quite say that. 27 millimeters. Reverse, left, right, stop, forward, forward, left, forward, right, reverse, left, reverse, right. Yeah, seven functions. Check it out. So, yeah, let's take a look at the side. Okay, here we go. Yes. Uh, forward, left, right. Okay, reverse. There it is. This is this is your left. This is your right, folks. You got a Jeep there. Uh, new ray, ro ro radio control. Collect them all. What did we have? We had a BMW X5. Look at that. We had a Mercedes Benz M Class. Look at that. That one looks like it's got a little bike on the back. Uh, that one looks like it has skis on it. Jeep Wrangler. Uh, that one has a kayak. Kayak. And the Land Rover Discovery with a spare tire on top. Are you kidding me? Really? Everybody's got something except for the Land Rover? And it even comes with a regular roof rack. You don't, oh my goodness. What kind of cheese balls? What, what is this world coming to? Anyway, so Wildlife Explorer, there it is again. Okay, so this kind of gives you a little bit more rundown of how you, uh, so you push that up. And it goes forward, you pull that back, and it goes reverse. You turn it that way, and it goes that way. So if you don't know what you're doing, this is a step-by-step. -step. Oh, you got little little uh, antenna. Adult uh, advi uh, assembly required. You got to have a 9-volt and two little, uh, what is that? I don't know, double A's, yeah. So there you go, so that's that. Let's go on this side. Oh yeah, seven functions. Yeah, the top, what do we have for the top here? Oh, 130 second scale, pretty awesome. It tells you ages five and up. So there is the top, pretty nifty, pretty nifty. And here is the bottom. Okay, so uh, not suitable for children under three, 130 second scale, that's pretty cool. Uh, tells you once again, installing the batteries as shown. Here's your instructions. There's a big Jeep product, uh, licensed product. Imported, yes, there you go. Imported, New Ray Toys, California. Um, yep, there it is. Shop at walmart.com. So yeah, uh, uh, we'll probably tag the New Ray stuff at the end there. I have a couple of videos because New Ray was um, 
Yeah, they were bed buddies with uh, Walmart and they used to do a lot of radio controlled stuff and stuff like that. So pretty, pretty nifty. Well, guess what? You know what? It, it would be really cool if there was, if I had a loose one, wouldn't it? That would be awesome. Yeah. Whoa, check it out. Oh, dude, there's a loose one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the action. Look at the action there. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. You got to love it. So this is it. Um, yeah, as you see, you, you uh, well, I don't have to pull it out, but it has a little thing you pull out there. And uh, this is um, all on this toggle thing here. You know, you, you just don't, uh, you don't do anything. You don't do anything, uh, and then and then you just slide it forward. Yeah, it sounds like something's grinding there, and then you you pull it back and it goes backwards. Yeah, so there you go. Got a big old antenna on there. Yeah, there is the um, spare tire that you get. Woohoo! Yeah, woohoo! Uh, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful emerald green. I, I really love that. It go well, it go it goes pretty good. Uh, like I say, I wish I could uh, really show you guys uh, this thing in motion, but uh, there you go. I had I bought one. Uh, I got it uh, loose. Yeah. So let's take a look a little bit closer at this bugger. So uh, so the nine volt battery goes in here, and there's a little turn on and off switch. We're gonna turn that off so I don't accidentally. Then on the bottom here, you can see New Ray made in China. Uh, batteries go in here and then there's an on off switch there. We're going to shut that off, but, uh, pretty cool. That little whip antenna comes from the back there up the back there. So pretty cool. Nice little spare tire with a logo on it. Um, yeah, very, very nice. This, this is a very nice heavy, this is metal die cast plastic body, uh, metal die cast body that it's very chunky. 130 uh, second, so it's a pretty good thing. Got the nice wraparound bull guard on it. That's pretty nifty. I like that. I like that. Uh, Disco One, D1, yeah, the old Disco One. Um, it has um, headlights painted up front and the logo on the nose there, uh, but uh, that's it for detailing. Not, nothing on the back except for that sticker but no details on the lights has a roof rack as we see and uh, a ladder. Um, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, yeah, snorkel over here. Very nice. And if you can hear it <laughs> every once in a while, there's a opening front door. So it's got glass all the way around, except for the front doors and those open. For what reason, I don't know, because you go right into the electronics. Um, I'm not really sure what New Ray was thinking about. I think, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if I have, now I'm drawing a blank. I don't know if I have uh, any of these in New Ray. Um, the static models, uh, I just have it in this... Um, Convertible boy. I, I better check my <laughs> stuff, but the roof rack has got lights on top You know the back lights had have backup lights really kind of cool now. I do have um, Something I want to show you. I do have these buggers here uh, And these are are kind of made in China. This is the police patrol uh, Doesn't have a scale on it or anything they're kind of the same, although this one has an opening back hatch, but solid glass around it and uh, no opening side doors. And I thought it was this bugger here. I like how they just, you know, don't put it on the nose where it goes. Just put it anywhere you want. Double sunroof. Uh, this one's even got double sunroof so you can see in there. But anyway, this is not the same truck. Oh, let's, let's bring it down here. Yeah, as you see, yeah, they are not the same truck, even though, you know, uh, radio controlled and not radio controlled. It is uh, different, different trucks. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, um, much, much bigger. Um, yeah, so not the same. It's uh, almost the same, you know, it's the same casting because it's a D1, 
but uh, it's it's not the same as your uh, you know I know some of you guys have some of this police patrol stuff so it's a little bit bigger than that so pretty awesome pretty awesome there so I, I just couldn't stand myself. I just had to go ahead. And, I had to check it out, man. I was talking about the new Ray stuff. And I, you know, I'm like, man, I thought I had something. Look at this. Yeah, we did. Uh, we have a video on this too. This is a custom that I did. Of course, the base is going to be different, but it's new Ray 132nd scale. There you go. Speedy power, which is part of um, the... Um, uh, new Ray, uh, they would sell everything. So this is it right here. Now this one, I did some <laughs> doink <laughs> wheels on it. Doesn't have the roof rack and stuff like that. But let me show you, let me crank back up here and show you um, what we have here. And I bought these in person too. I think I bought these like at a, at a junk shop. And um, no, no, these would be, uh, I think these are at Walmart too, weren't they at Walmart? Because, yeah, that, um, um, but see, they were Speedy Power. Now I can't remember. I thought I bought these at Junk Shop, but here it is in red. This is the, 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 the crazy wheel one, but without the crazy wheels. And this is kind of the packaging that uh, it came in uh, pretty plain and simple. You know, Discovery, Diecast, Plastic Series, you know, and that, that was the base there. So, um, yeah, they did, they used uh, this casting and made it remote control. And um, so here we go. Here's, and here it is. Oh, my goodness, a little dusty. But hopefully it won't glare too much. Big wheels on it. Uh, you know, these are, these are rubber where these are plastic. Um, plastic wheels, but they use the same um, hubs, you know, the same rims there. But here it is um, with the opening doors and uh, not, and two that that didn't have that doesn't have an opening rear hatch like uh, the remote control. So what they did was they gutted it. They didn't take they didn't use the interior. They got a different base, and uh, away they went. So yeah, we're gonna have this. Uh, uh, on the playlist, uh, we talked a little bit more about this one, but there you go. So, all right, so there it is, New Ray, uh, remote control from Walmart. That one came from Walmart. Now it came to that part of the show uh, where you guys know um, what's going on. So thanks for sticking around. Uh, you know that July 12th, 2021, it'll be two years of uh, Roverland, so we're celebrating and uh, kind of talking about die cast and uh, one one thirty second scale kind of. Uh, this is a little bit smaller. Um, we're gonna throw this next um, Welly Defender in on the mix for our um, giveaway box. So this is a Welly. This is uh, one of the the Wellies that they used to give that they gave away at the Chicagoland. Um, auto show and i think they did that because they got the wrong thing on here that's uh they printed that right on there that's not a sticker so i think they got a deal and they were giving them away that's just a theory of mine i don't i don't know for sure but anyway so that's the that's the uh the the item for the day for our uh giveaway all right all right that's it i gotta get out of here 14 minutes we gotta get out of here Thank you for joining me. Give me a big thumbs up. This is your friend Dan O. And as always, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.